Radiation therapy is given to treat cancer patients. The radiation is directed at the tumor um, or the target to kill the cancer cells or prevent cancer from coming back to those specific areas. Radiation therapy takes advantage of the fact that normal tissue can repair itself. Cancer can't. So we deliver the radiation in such a way that the normal tissue can recover and repair any small insult it, re it receives, but the cancer can't. Radiation will focus on the targeted area, so the side effects are generally just within the area that's being treated. It can target the cancer cells and try to minimize damage to the normal cells. The side effects of radiation are very dependent on the site of radiation. For example, if we're treating a patient with breast cancer, and the side effects are going to be potentially some red, mild redness, maybe some swelling of the breast. Those side effects are completely different than if we're treating somebody, for example, with, uh, with prostate cancer. Those risks are very, very minimal because of the targeting that we do and the precision that we give the radiation. One side effect that most people will experience will be some degree of tiredness or fatigue. Most people can continue to work with treatment, uh, but they may find that they have to pace themselves a little bit more. Our patients are typically here for radiation five days a week. Now we know that things happen in life and you, if you can't make a radiation treatment, you can't make it. We want you to be safe every time you come. So I know with Michigan winters, things like that, you can't always make them, but we typically treat our patients five days a week, Monday through Friday. When a patient comes in for radiation therapy, they're generally referred to us by a surgeon or a medical oncologist. So they'll come in for a consultation. They'll meet with a physician, our nursing staff, our financial coordinator, social worker. We will discuss the overall plan for the patient uh, for their radiation treatment. The physician will talk to them about the radiation therapy, why it's recommended, or if it's not recommended, why. And about side effects, long-term effects of the radiation, the risk and benefits. Patients can bring family members, friends, whoever they need for support. It can be confusing, and so I think it's always good to have other people there to kind of listen and really understand the process that they will be going through. Usually everyone's pretty anxious when they come, so it helps to have a family member or a close friend act as your emotional support and a second set of ears to hear everything that's being said. CT SIM is the first step after consult where we bring the patient back to give them a CAT scan and set them up in their treatment position. Their treatment position will remain the same for the entire treatment course. It's just a table that kind of goes into a donut for the patient. They move in and out of it, the machine doesn't move around them. And from that, we gather data that we send to our treatment planning staff and the physician, and they start their treatment plan from that. The position for CT SEM is important because that way it will remain the same for the entire course of treatment. We don't want the patient to be different than they were the day before. We need to be accurate and precise during every treatment. We will bring them in depending on where we're treating. We have different what we call immobilization devices. We have breast boards, wing boards for our lung patients, what we call vac locks. They're kind of like a bean bag. What we'll do is we'll put that bean bag underneath them, form it around them, and suck the air out of it. That way it's custom fit to them. We use the same one for them every day. Tattoos ensure that we are setting up to the same exact position every day. It's really important for our patients to be lined up accurately. We line patients up to the millimeter. We tattoo them so that we don't have to worry about marks coming off if they shower, if they have creams or lotions that they need to put on their skin. When we set the patient up on the CT, that same setup will be used in the treatment room. Now with the CT scan, we get a 3D view of the patient's anatomy, internal and external, and we can align the beams where they need to be to give maximal dose to the tumor, minimal dose to the normal tissues. The treatment plan is really a plan of attack, if you will, as to how we're going to deliver the radiation most effectively. And it starts with the physician, the radiation oncologist, evaluating all the information that's specific to the patient. So the dosimetrist works side by side with the radiation oncologist. So the dosimetrist pulls in this patient's CT scan. The CT scan is done in the same position that the treatment will take place on the machine. They pull it into the treatment planning computer, put the beams on where they should go, and do beam shaping and beam modulation 
to give the dose to the tumor while trying to spare the dose to normal tissues. The treatments that are needed for radiation are variable dependent on, again, site of treatment, the disease, and the um, intent. So we treat patients for curative intent and some for palliative intent. And so in patients that are receiving palliative radiation, we try to give the treatments quickly so that we improve their symptoms quickly. If we're treating somebody with breast or prostate cancer, uh, that treatment is generally somewhere between six to eight weeks. And that's daily treatment uh, every day, Monday through Friday, five days a week. The first appointment following CT would be called New Start or Verification Sim. And during that appointment, we will take x-rays of the ISO center or where the doctor has prescribed their treatment and verify that that is exactly the position that we are going to be treating. It's kind of a dry run for our patients. We bring them in the treatment room, we take some x-rays, make sure everything is lining up perfect based on their CT scan and the treatment planning process that the physician set up for them. And after that, the patient will get them down and the doctor will review those x-rays before we give them their first treatment. We will replicate the treatment that they're going to be getting uh, and to make sure that the beams that we have planned and created are what is actually going to be delivered to the patient. They do not get any radiation that first day and then after that, they begin their daily treatments. During the delivery of radiation, there isn't any pain. You don't see or feel anything. You hear a buzzing sound to tell us that radiation is being administered, but you won't see or feel anything. When patients come in for their first treatment, they actually move up to the machine, and then the machine rotates around them. Depending on the type of treatment that the doctor's prescribed, it can either rotate around them continuously, or it may rotate and stop at different angles where we would um, then treat the patient. Each treatment is unique to every patient. The laser lights in the treatment room we use to line the patient up. So those tattoos that were given in CT Sim or on New Start Day are used to line up with the lasers as a guide point or a starting point for treatment. Their daily treatments vary. We have everyone in 10 minute time slots. The actual time you're being treated on the table is usually about three minutes, but with setup and getting the patient down, all situated for their treatments, about 10 minutes or so. Many patients will ask us if radiation makes them radioactive, but the only time the radiation is active in the room is during treatment. After treatment, there's nothing left over. There's no radioactivity inside the patient. You won't glow. You can still go and see your grandchildren, hold them, pick up your kids, be out in the public, go out to dinner with your friends. You can still do all of that after having radiation. Once a week, the patient will have a status check, and that means they'll meet with a physician or myself. It's just a short visit to troubleshoot side effects, answer questions, and just generally to touch base. The physician also looks at the treatment plan just to verify that everything's still going as uh, planned. If it's needed, they uh, may come back to us for follow-up. It depends on the type of cancer. We may see them every so many months for a few years after treatment, or we may see them once uh, to make sure that they're recovering from the side effects of the treatment. I love my job. I love doing what I do. I love seeing my patients every day and getting to know them for the course of their treatment. I work with a great staff. We get along great. We have a lot of fun here. Um, we all enjoy what we do. It's a great environment for patients to come into and for us to work in. Really enjoy it here.